What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about Christmas presents for magicians. Today's video, we're going to be looking at items that you can get for your magician, cardist and magic loving friends as gifts for Christmas or possibly even birthdays or anything else like that. We're going to focus mainly on Christmas because Christmas is coming up. However, these can be used at any time of the year for any different occasion. So there's 10 products in total and a special bonus one at the end. For each of these, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can actually go on and purchase them yourself. So first things first is a brick of cards. So anyone who is a magician or likes magic or anything like that, love playing cards. There's a whole massive range that you can get out there. So if you want something special, then below there's a link to Paper Decks and The Card In. They both have a massive range of cards, so check them out. However, most magicians just use a standard pack of bicycle cards. And as you can see here, £25 for a brick of bicycle cards. As you can see here from the product images, they've just got standard faces and it's a really nice present just to give to them. So in the pack, they're all poker size, which is your standard thing, the pro quality because they're bicycle playing cards. You have 12 decks of 54 cards. You have six blue and six red, so you've got a good mixture of the different colors. Again, manufactured by USPCC because they're standard bicycle decks. So they're really good quality and a really good present for someone. If you give them a brick of cards, which is dirt cheap at 25 pound, then they're gonna love you forever. The next thing on the list is this Ultima Guard play mat. So this is a 61 centimeter by 35 centimeter play mat. There's quite a lot of different brands and sizes on Amazon and all over the internet really. But this is the one that I got and I really, really like it. As you can see on some of the other videos that I've used, I've used this play mat and this is how it comes. As you can see here, it's rolled up in the box and all you have to do is unroll it, put it down and it's really good for putting cards down, lifting them up, that sort of thing. So when you're trying different magic tricks, it's really handy if you put the cards down, they easily come back up off the player mat. As you can see here, it's predominantly aimed at people who play games with cards, so like magic and Pokemon, etc., that sort of thing. But it's really good for magicians when they're doing card tricks. In the description here, it says extra thick, it's a two millimeter mat, so it's soft cushioned as well, which is really good. It's also got an anti-slip backside, so when you put it on a, a surface, it's not gonna move away and run away from itself when you're putting things on. That's the playmat and currently it's only £8.03 on Amazon and that is it there. You can see it's a big black playmat and it's the one from Ultima Guard, same as what's in the listing. And it's really good quality on the back, it's got the, the rubber effect which is the, the thing to stop it from moving around. It's probably about the size of my chest so it's a decent size when you're playing with it and obviously when you're using magic tricks and all that sort of thing you can use that. Easy enough to put away as well, just fold it away, you can either keep it in there or just put it away somewhere else. The next item which every magician should have, especially ones who are doing card tricks and card magic, is this here. This is the Royal Road to Card Magic. The link in the description for this book is the hardback cover. The one that I have is a soft cover, however there's a massive range of different releases and covers, finishes, etc. on the book. However, all of the information inside is exactly the same. In the description for the book to promote, it says, if you practice any sort of magic or plan on giving it a try, you probably know that most people, card tricks are often the starting point. So therefore, if you have a deck of cards readily available, as most common households do, the other things required to wow an audience are sleight of hand and magician secrets. This is the book which gives you all of those tips and tricks and it's perfect for those starting out. It was originally published in the 1940s and it's got over 100 tricks that you can do in there. It also comes with illustrations so you can actually see what's going on rather than just reading the text because when I was reading it myself, some of the text is quite old in the way that it's taught. So to get your head around it, sometimes it's a bit frustrating. However, the illustrations really help when you're reading it. So this hardback cover, it has 320 pages and it has 4.4 out of 5 stars on Amazon ratings, which is really, really good. If you go further down, this is the one, this is the one that I actually have. This is the paperback Royal Road to Card Magic. And you can see the cover's different and this is the revised edition. At the minute, it's only 40p plus £2.80 delivery. You can get them second hand and get them much cheaper. However, if you're buying these for a present, it's better to buy a new one. And obviously this hardback cover is £6, brand new, so what can go wrong with it? The next present for someone is this Kinetic Desk Toy. So this one here is a 38mm desk toy. As you can see here, it's shaped like a sphere. It's got these little lines that go through it. What you do, you put it on the desk, and as you can see here, there's a little base which fits on and it goes screwed up and it actually spins. So when it's on the desk and it spins, the way the lines are, they're not perfectly straight, they go down at an angle. So when it's spinning, 
it looks like it's melting into the ground. So it's a 360 visual illusion. As you can see here, apparently eliminates anxiety, helps you keep focus, helps you relieve stress, and also it lessens ADHD. As you can see on these pictures, it's only four centimeters big. So it means you can put it wherever you want, like you use it on the laptop or on that sort of thing. It's just a small little thing to go on the desk that you can spin it around and just sort of keep you occupied with that. This one, which is 38 mil, that's only 10.99. What you can do is you can actually change the diameter to a 45 mil one, and that takes it up to 13 pound. Comes in a variety of different colors. You've got your gold, your black, your blue, your silver, and your rose gold. So depending on their favorite color, then you can get one similar to that. When you spin it, it spins for roughly 20 to 40 seconds, and you can also give it a bit more force and spin it a bit faster so it can go a bit further. You can get between 100 to 180 seconds, so it's not too bad just to spin it like that, and obviously when it stops, you can just spin it again, spin it again, spin it again. Onto the next item, which is a wooden storage box for playing cards. This one here on Amazon is 20 pound. It's a wooden box, and it's also got the card pips on the top, and it's got two different sections inside for you to put your cards in. As you can see here, it'll hold two decks of cards and it's got that nice wooden finish so it looks stylish when it's on the table or a shelf or something like that and it keeps your cards nice and secure as well. It's a premium teak wood construction with a natural finish. So the measurements for it is six inches by four and a half inches and it's one and a half inches tall. When I was looking at some of the reviews and comments, which was from this time last year, they're quite low and saying the craftsmanship isn't that good and the box wasn't exactly how the, what they ordered, completely different color, all that sort of thing. However, in the last year, all of the comments and feedback has been absolutely spot on and saying it's really good. Craftsmanship is really good. It's hinged, everything like that. So yeah, that's something for 20 pound. If you want to get something for a magician, then grab this. Next thing on the list is a 12 inch ring light and this comes with a mobile phone holder. This is the exact same one that I've got and that's the one that I use at home. I originally got it for when I wanted to shoot content on the fly when I was at home, rather than come to the studio, I can shoot with using that. And because the ring light, it gives a direct light around the lens so it doesn't give you any shadows and it's very flattering. A lot of people on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, that sort of thing, they use that for beauty and other fashion and when they're recording things. And the bonus about this is it's got a holder for your phone so you can put your phone in, you can actually record yourself doing magic tricks and other things like that and you get a really nice light off it. It comes with a brightness feature so you can put the brightness up and down, you can also change the colour temperature so you can have a cool colour or a warm colour so it all depends on what sort of style you want to go for. The stand you can also move it up and down so if you want to higher up pointing down you can do that so you can shoot from above and shoot downwards. So as you can see here this is the colour temperatures so you've got the cold, the natural and the warm light so it affects the appearance of the white balance when you're shooting videos and like I said earlier you can adjust the angle of the ring light itself and move the mobile phone mount so you can get the optimal angle and with the extendable stick on it you can lift your ring light up point it downwards, have your phone pointing down so you can shoot something on your tabletop or you can have it pointing directly toward you and shoot something like that. One of the main things that I use it for is like a table lamp. So when I'm at the computer and I'm doing Zoom calls or something like that or talking to someone on the computer, I put the ring light on and it gives a really nice light on us. And with that, it sort of brightens you up and makes your picture a lot better when you're talking to someone on Zoom or on the computer itself on FaceTime. The other bonus thing is it's powered by USB. So if you have a power bank, you can plug it into your power bank and you can take that ring light wherever you want to go. So you don't have to have it set up next to a plug socket in your house or anything like that. Just take it wherever you want to go. So here's some close-up details of it. You've got the ring light itself with the USB cable. You have the extendable stick and the round metal base. The base itself is made of metal and it's quite sturdy. So it holds the ring light and it's not going to be sort of flopping all over or falling over when you don't want it to. The phone holder with a tube, it goes in like that so you can hold your phone up and you can just twist it around. You can move it up, down. It's fully adjustable so it's perfect for getting the right angle. It's just a really good gift, especially for this price, it's £33. We have a 18 inch ring light that we use in the studio for portrait photography and we paid £100 for that. So this is just a fraction of the cost. Slightly smaller of course, but it's still bright, still perfect. So highly recommended this one. The last item from Amazon is this Sharpie pack here. So this is a 24 pack of Sharpies and this is the colour burst option. As you can see here, it gives you 24 Sharpies and it's in a massive range of colours. So you've got every colour possibly that you could need. And obviously with the main Sharpies, they're absolutely spot on for, for magic and drawn on cards and stuff. So what you can do is you can use it to give to spectators to actually draw on cards and have something a bit different from the black Sharpie. Or you can actually get creative and take some blank cards, use these Sharpies and draw things on them. So if you want 
wanted to sort of force a card with something specific drawn on it or something wrote on it, then you can use these to design a nice picture. The other thing that you could do is take a normal deck of cards and draw on those. There's a link in the description below for the 52 ways to say I love you deck of cards. And what I did is a surprise to Rara, I took a, a deck of cards, started drawing on it with different colour sharpies and things like that, with different things which was personal to us and give that for a present so it's a really good idea so you can get the sharpies and just give them to a magician as a sharpie or you can get them draw on a deck of cards and give that as a present to them as well that's it for amazon products now what we're going to do is head over to the card in so the first thing we're looking at which is currently in the sale is this carrot bamboo 4x3 12 deck display as you can see here it's a bamboo display unit for 12 decks so you put your decks in there and you can put it up on the wall or do different things like that and it's really really good present for someone who wants to display the decks on the wall. As you can see in the description, the product is shipping to the UK only. However, if you contact James at the card in, he'll be able to give you a quote for international shipping. So at the moment, this is currently up for £35 rather than £39, which is a really, really good bargain. So what you can do, you can grab on, you can order this now and get pay £35 for it and you get a nice saving for that. The next thing from the card in is these card vials. As you can see here, what you do is you take a playing card, you put it inside the vial, you put the top on, and you can use these to display the playing cards, either on a shelf or on a desk or something like that. And it's a really good way to display the cards. As you can see in the description, back in February 2019, these were brought to life with the idea of placing a playing card inside of a bottle and naming them card portions. Generally, you get your two jokers or a blank playing card or a double facing playing card or something like that. What you could do with that extra card is you could showcase it somewhere. So the idea which they brought about was put it in a card vial and display it that way. So yeah, these are clear vials which you put your playing cards in. It's got a top. As you can see here from the description, the dimension of it is 22 mil by 80 mil, which is the perfect size to put the playing card in. And for £2.95, you get three vials. So you can put three different cards in. So what's my vials that I've got? I've got one of the V2 first playing cards by Chris Ramsey. I've got the Gold Artisans, and also in the other one is one of the cards which I did for Rara in her 52 Ways to Say I Love You deck of cards. So yeah, it's a really nice way to sort of showcase the cards, put them on the table, they just look fantastic. So really good bargain that. Last but not least from the card in is these Maze leather card cases. As you can see here, they come in a variety of different colours. So this one's the red one and you get a blue, a black, or a brown. What you can do with it is your leather case, you can open it up, you can put a deck of cards in. There's also room for business cards and other things like that. What you can do is you can put extra props and different things like that, so gaff cards, you can keep them separate from your deck of cards, but still have them in the wallet so you've got them handy. So as it says here in the description, you can hold a deck of cards plus 10 extra cards. So you can bring along gimmick cards, pack of tricks, and even your own business cards. And these are only 14 pound each, and like I said, comes in a black, a red, a blue, a brown. So you can go in, you can purchase them, and you can have that handy to put your deck of cards in, keep them protected, and just sort of have all these additional things with you, rather than mixing them in with your own deck of cards. This one here is mine. I went for the brown, and it's really good quality. So you lift it out like this. So I've just got a standard deck of cards in, and I've also got light paint, which is a really good prop, especially for the photography side of it. So yeah, right back playing cards and this. You can also put in business cards and put in coins, other gaff decks or anything like that. Seal it up and just store them, really nice. Really good durable as well, so yeah, really good present. Here's a little bonus one, number 11. And this one is Magic Clothing from INX Clothing. I may be biased because it's my clothing company and do all the magic designs for that. However, if you want some t-shirts or hoodies or something like that for your magician friends, then head over here and have a look. So we have a range of different designs. We have playing card suit logos. We have magic since 2500 BCE, which is when the first magic trick was actually done. We have things like Chris Ramsey inspired things. So I came for the magic, but stay for the puzzles. We have a magician circle design. We have a imagine magic design, less to do's, more to da's. I wave my wand, see what pops up. A cardistry, abracadabra. I actually have a Keith Fusco one. So if you want to wear some of my clothing, then head on there and get it. Also, I'll be the magician and the classic Do You Even Double Lift t-shirt, which is really, really popular. We also have a bunch of other different designs and we can do personalized designs, so whatever you want, then we can do it. Always making new designs as well, so this is one of the newest ones. This is Trust Me, I'm a Magician, because obviously, when you're a magician, people have to trust you because you don't lie, you don't do anything trickery. That's all the truth, isn't it? That's my little rundown video of 11 presents that you can get for magicians. Hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think of the selections in the comments below. Let me know if you think there should be something else added in there or something which is really good for magicians which I've missed. 
If you haven't already, please give the channel a subscribe so you'll be kept up to date with the current videos which are ongoing as well. Until next time, see ya!